How to imitate a whole lot of Hollywood film music in four easy steps. So, you want to write music that sounds like Hollywood? Or just amaze your friends and neighbors with your ability to play music that sounds evil, sad, heroic, exotic, or outer spacey? It's easy. In fact, it's ridiculously easy. You don't have to be a trained musician, or even be able to read music to do it. You just have to be able to count. So, step one, learn how to play a major triad. That's uppercase M for major. Now, forget whatever music theory you might have learned. This is all you need to know to play a major triad for three. Here's how it works. Get to a piano. If you don't have a piano, download a piano app. Pick any note. I'll pick this one. Doesn't matter which note, white or black, and you don't need to know its name. We'll call this note the root of the triad. Put a left side finger on this note. This could be your left pinky or right thumb. Now, from this root note, count one, two, three, four notes to the right, what musicians call up. Don't count the root. It's like moving on a game board. You move four notes to the right. Now be sure to count both white and black notes in order. And put a middle finger on the second note. Now from the second note, count up three more notes to the right and put your right side finger on this note. Play all three notes. That's a major triad. It's easy as four, three. Step two, learn how to play a minor triad. That's lowercase m for minor. So major triad was four, three, right? Now a minor triad is three, four. You build it in the same way. Pick a note, call it the root, put a left side finger on it. Now for the next note, move to the right three notes. Don't count the first note, count both black and white, and then put a finger there. Do it again, but this time move four notes. There you go. A minor triad. Easy as three, four. Step three. Learn how to measure the distance between triads. Now there are lots and lots of major and minor triads, but we only need two. Two! I know! It's amazing how when imitating a whole lot of movie music, you only need two triads, and often you just go back and forth between them. It's easy, but you have to pick the right two triads for what you want. And picking the right triads means not only picking major or minor, but also putting the right distance between them. But this is easy. It's just more counting. Let's take the two triads I used for steps one and two. The one in brown is a major triad. That's uppercase M, and that's the one we'll play first. The one in green is a minor triad. That's a lowercase M, and that's the one we'll play second. Now remember that, for now anyway, the root of a triad is its leftmost note. How far apart are these two roots? Again, it's like moving on a game board. One, two, three, four, five notes apart. Now when we play the brown triad first, I'm going to call this a major five minor because the first chord is major, the second chord is minor, and the number of notes from the first root to the second root is five. I'll abbreviate major five minor with these three characters. Now, as long as you start with the brown triad so that it sounds more important than the other triad, you can go back and forth between these two chords as much as you want, and it's still a major five minor. Step four, memorize certain combinations of triads and their associations. Now that you know how to play major or minor triads, and have learned to measure the distance between those triads, and know how to label the combination of triads, it's simply a matter of memorizing certain labels. Here are 10 triad combinations that sound a lot like Hollywood film music, but it gets even better. These 10 have some fairly reliable associations. Okay, okay, not every, for example, mysterious movie moment uses a minor two major, but quite a lot of them do, Enough to notice a connection, anyway. 
Some of these associations have been around in Hollywood for quite some time, and some of them for not as long. But all of these are still quite common in contemporary film music and other multimedia, like TV and video games. Okay, those are the four steps. You made it to the end. Bye-bye. Wait a minute. You've come this far. The least I can do is play an instance of each of these on the piano and show it to you on the screen and maybe add a melody to make the music a little more distinctive and show you where this particular music comes from. How about that? Let's go. If you like this video, why don't you click on the like button, and if I get enough likes, I don't know, three, five, is ten asking for too much? Yeah, probably. Anyway, if I get enough likes, I will post a bonus video 
where I show you how you can mix up these progressions in cool ways. I call this bonus video Step 5 of 4. Go back instead of going forward. Uh, right, I mean 